as a species are curious. What's over there? What's on the other side of that ridge? Well, I've been on the road for 27 years and um, travel is really what I do. Finding those local connections, those unique experiences, those natural phenomena and curating those into experiences that we can share with our guests, that's really what, what my role is all about. It's more than a job. It's, it's a passion and a lifestyle. I think that sense of something privileged and rare is really loved. When we talk about exclusive experiences, also Japan is a fantastic destination to talk about. We have a port call in the north in Hokkaido, it's a small fishing town in Hapadate, where occasionally we'll offer a very exclusive experience at a Michelin star restaurant, which is in fact a private residence, which is very, very rare for a non-Japanese to get an invitation to, to dine here. We have uh, a personal demonstration by the chef, Chef Narita, who uh, prepares traditional dashi using the seasonal kombu, which is the seaweed that only occurs on that northern island of Hokkaido. And he'll take you through on the journey, preparing dashi and explaining, all via translation, of course, that dashi is the, the base ingredient in most Japanese cuisine. And then you sit down and you enjoy a kaiseki meal with 13, 14 courses, seated in a traditional 150-year-old Japanese residence on the water. It is mind-blowing. In fact, that would have to be, personally, the best meal of my life. So what is travel for me? It's everything. Travel's really in my soul. You know, sometimes during this pause in operations, we'll, we'll go outside, I'll feel the wind blowing from a certain direction. It will remind me of being in the Middle East, in Oman, or... Uh, maybe on the Musandam Peninsula and I'll just get a vivid recollection 